The IOC have, have created a mess in women's sport. Um, they created a mess back in 2015 with their first policy. And what they've actually managed to do is make things even worse um, and at the same time as walking away and now leaving it to the sports, uh, the various sports to sort this mess out. So, you know, back in 2015, they did say that fairness mattered to women and that transgender women did have an advantage. Um, and their solution was to reduce testosterone. That was a, a bad solution. It was a fake fix, really. Um, and despite no evidence, they instituted that policy. Over the years, it's been clear that that policy won't work because reducing testosterone in an adult doesn't actually make any difference to their performance. And so now they've abandoned that testosterone, which in a way is good because, you know, why have a policy that doesn't work? But what they've replaced it with is nonsense. It's to say that um, trans women are women, so they belong in the category and there should be no presumption of advantage. And that throws away decades of experience and science that says male people have physical performance advantage in sport. Position IOC then, that if you're a woman and you want to win a gold medal, then perhaps it's better off if you're just a man. Well, yeah, I mean, there is no women's category now, really. It's a mixed sex category because before the women's sport was the purpose of women's sport is to give female people, people who don't have the advantage of a male body, a chance to win and um, compete fairly. And so what they've now said is that anyone who's born male but simply identifies as a woman can play in the women's category. So the women's category now becomes an identity-based category. So, you know, when you think of something like tennis, it would be as ridiculous as saying, let's have a category for people who wear tennis skirts and let's have a category for people who wear tennis shorts. I mean, you wouldn't do that, but that's essentially what they're saying. They're making this about identity, not about sex.